Welcome back everybody, Brabant here. Today we're going to be checking out The Forest. So I've recently been playing this game a lot and I wanted to do a series on it. So this is an open world survival horror uh, with crafting, building, really, really, really cool game. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are, placed into the forest. So I've already got some stuff, like there's a list up here that you have to get. Um, now we have to survive from the cannibals and um, defend ourselves, build a base, etc. So during this episode, I would like to get some collectibles. Now, because I've been playing this game for a while, I do know uh, what is around. Uh, so I'm going to quickly change... Sorry, get some of these uh, suitcases, because they are full of goodies. Don't eat the mushroom. So as you can see, this game is absolutely beautiful. Like, you can you can sit for hours just admiring the views. Um, that's a strange place. Uh, like, I, there's certain locations with the, like, the sunsets and stuff, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and for an alpha game, you, you couldn't expect more, really. Right, so I believe I've got most of the suitcases now. Uh, we're going to head out, try and get our bearings, because we can't see anything at the moment. Let's go over here, this looks open. Right, so we are at the... Be ah, we're at the beach. So we are currently located very close to the the cave. Basically, if you get killed, um, the cannibals capture you, take you back to a cave, uh, where they hang you up. So, we're going to go over to that base right now. Uh, so, I am getting close. You can see these are effigies that the cannibals place. Uh, we'll scare you away. Oh, we're back to the plane. Oh, come on. Right, I think the... It's over there, actually, I think. Ah, so you can see up there, there's our uh, little huts. That is the, uh, the cannibals... Um, oh, new item added. Uh, it's the cannibal's base village. So if we head on in, there will be some cannibals around here. So I'm jumping into this game quite far into the development. So they've added some good features. So in the village you can also get some cloth, which is hung upon these. Very important for survival. There should be the cave. I, th I passed it. I know I passed it. I just don't know where I left it. It's up here. Right, so this is the cave that you go to when you die. I just uh, happen to know where it is because I've played it, this game for a lot. I've played this game a lot before. So if we head on in, we can drop down. Right, we're in the cave. And now you can start to get a sense of the horror aspect of this game. So this is probably the largest alcohol stack in the game. Very convenient for the beginning so we can Go into our inventory here. Now, crafting, uh, you can see you right click them and it says combine. So if you combine alcohol and cloth, you get a Molotov. Right, so now I can't craft anymore. Now, I know around here there's the, the map, which you can collect. Very useful for navigation. Getting in caves, the sound is very loud. So you can probably barely hear me right now. Alright, so we've just picked up the map. There we go. You can see where we are in the bottom right. Let's pick up a few of these. And I believe we just got the compass. Yeah, there it is. Really useful little tool, but I'm not going to venture further in. I'm going to keep that for another date. Right, now there's one more cave we need to visit today. And that is north of here. So you can see that little pin? That's us. So if we uh, head on out... Collecting this cloth is really important, like, further on in the game, 
when you've got like 200, I think I already, yeah, I've already got 80, so you, it's fairly easy to collect when you're in the villages. It's just so useful um, to have built up at the beginning of the game. So I'm just going to be careful getting down here. So the cave we're heading to right now is actually, to, it's the Katana Cave, but I can't remember the name of it. Uh, maybe the Dead Cave. Uh, I'm just not too sure on the name. It's up here, actually. I'm surprised we haven't encountered any cannibals yet. Now, one thing I should have been doing all that time is collecting leaves. Right, we've got the rabbit. So we can skin him, get the rabbit skin, which is really useful at the beginning of the game. Like, all the craftable materials use... Um, the craftable items, such as the berry basket, do use rabbit skin. So, two hits with the weak spear. Getting this meat is really useful early on. There we go, we've got the berry basket. Right, so here is the other cave. Um, this is where we get to collect the katana. So if we just slide down. So if you remember at the beginning, with the plane crash, we did actually lose our son. I don't think I had the footage, but our son, the person who was sat next to us in the cabin, uh, did actually get taken by a cannibal. So, the main story of this game is to find your son again. It may not be your son, but it's it's possible that it isn't. So you can see here, I've got the toy. Just picked it up off the ground. This was Timmy's toy. I think you could see on his lap. Also some drawings on the wall. Yep, and the second. So, it's uh, fairly interesting. Now, if you heard that, that's uh, an armsy. It's uh, a mutant in the game. Very, very dangerous to deal with at this early point. Like, right now, it's not worth it. So I'm just going to turn my torch off so this is a decreased visibility. And we should see armsy down there. Yeah, you see it just above the torch. We do not want to mess with him right now. So I'm just going to sprint past. Now, you've got to be careful in these caves. Uh, there are cannibals everywhere. So... Just going to be careful heading up here. Seems to be clear. Right, so what do we have here? We've got some alcohol. Yeah, these cannibals are very creative. They like to uh, be decorative with us. So we've got a to-do list. Uh, the first thing is find Timmy, uh, which we believe is our son. Set up camp, find the missing plane passengers. Over here, um, we've got statistics for our uh, person. Now this is very important, athleticism. You can increase this by sprinting around, carrying logs, etc. And your stamina lasts a lot longer. So I'm going to try and increase that earlier in the game, because that would be very useful. So I believe I've actually already picked up the katana. It should have been right here. Yeah, the katana. Really useful weapon early on. Um, as long as you get this, you're good. Like, armor is your next concern. Right, so we're pretty much stocked up from here. I'm going to try and head out and avoid the armsy. I do not want to uh, cross that guy right now. You've got to be so careful. I can't see him. I'm not going to risk it, guys. I'm just going to head out. The rabbits keep scaring me. I keep hearing footsteps. Because they sound very... Su oh, no. That's a cannibal. Run. 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 I'm just going to dive across the river. They can't go in water. I think it's becoming day, actually. It's getting really bright. So that is north. So you, you always know, like, the mountains are actually north. So you can always look at those, and you, you know that that's north, so that's south, east, west, so on. Rabbit fur boots. No, I don't want those. But yeah, let's make them. Uh, equip the boots. And increase the stealth. Yeah, why not? Look at that. So it's kind of useful. I can tell that there's a camp up here. Oh, we found a cave entrance. More alcohol. It's a Bible. Right, it's just turned to day, so I'm not really going to go in the cave right now. I just want to um, we'll see if it marks on the map. Yeah, you can see on the, the map we've got a little circle around, around this, so that's good. Right, we should be heading... 
uh, west right now to the opposite side because that's where we can get some sea turtles. There's a lot of people in this play this game like seem to think that you can get turtle shells from tortoises. I believe it's tortoises anyway. There's a tortoise. Um, the tortoises will roam around naturally on land, like here, for example. Convenient. So if I kill you, now you would you would think that you should be able to collect this uh, shell, right? Uh, you can't. So. There's no shell in my inventory. Now, a lot of people think you should be able to do that. That's the first thing you would do. You don't. You get them from sea turtles. Or a sea tortoise. Oh. So here we've got the, uh, the head of the plane. I don't know what you can find in here. Got a flare gun. It's kind of useful. Uh, I've got one flare. TV star's wife dies of a tragic accident. I almost forgot, we're heading to get the sea turtle. Or sea tortoise? I can't remember which one it is. So we've got these two here. These are the ones you cannot get shells from. Just generic meat. You can see that here. So I wonder what we can find in these uh, little containers actually. That one's empty. So we've got some soda. More computers. Anything that we can collect? Ah, sea turtles. See, these look completely different. So a lot of people get confused and try to get the shells off of the others. But these are the only ones you can get the shells off. So you see now, I have a turtle shell right here. Right, so now we've got everything that we need to establish, um, establish a small base right now. So I guess we've just got to find a location. Oh, we've got another village. Don't think I'm going to go near that yet. I'm just going to leave that be. I don't want to attract too much attention to myself. Right, so we've got some deer skin. You can use that to create a water skin, which is a very essential piece of equipment. Basically, it uh, increases the amount of water you get per collection. Oh, can hear a waterfall. Okay, so I think I want to build my base up there, near the uh, the rockiness, near the rocks, the cliff face even. Not right up there, I just mean below it, you see the darker bits, but I don't want to build in snow biome. So, I think we can go further around and find, find the cliff face. Yeah, I think we're just going to follow it around and see if we can find a section that's outside of the snow biome. See, I'd like to build here, you know, like where it dips in. Like a little bunker, but I, I just I just don't think it's the best idea. And it's it's a rather small area down there actually, but that would be a really cool idea to build a bunker. I would like to do that. So you can see on the map we have made it almost to the corner of the map. I believe this is where I want to build the base. This should be a good location up here. Uh, we'll see. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. A cliff face, not in the snow biome. It's actually getting dark. I'm going to try and quickly build a shelter. I'm going to build a quick temporary structure to fast forward. Quickly build this. And fast forward today. There we go. One time use. Does destroy itself after. So I think this is a safe place to call it a day, guys. Uh, we've done quite a lot this episode. We've collected the katana. Flare gun. Uh, some of the major stuff that we do need to survive. We've built... Uh, our equipment so we're set up really well so far and i think next time it is time to start work on the base i'll do a bit of research off camera try and see if i can find a better spot but i really do like the way this looks building on the edge of the cliff it would be um a really nice experiment so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next episode